Hey guys, what's up? Easy Science here. Studying for an exam or just learning for fun? You've come to the right place. Today's topic is about Euler's number or the transcendental or transcendental number E. Maybe one of the most famous numbers or constants that never end like pi. It's very useful in math. Leonard Euler, the famous uh, mathematician who discovered Euler's number, it was born 15th of April in 1707 in Basel, Switzerland. Now let me try to visualize what E could be. So let's say you have a dollar. So one dollar. And you have a 100% interest rate for one year. <clears throat> so after one year you have one plus a hundred percent of one is one two dollars. Right? Okay, what if you got a new deal and you still had the same dollar but at fifty percent interest rate after six or here half a year six months and fifty percent again after another half from one what would that be so fifty percent of one plus so be one plus point five which would be here which would be equal to 1.5 and then 1.5 50 of that would be 75.75 .75, which would be 2.25 you're probably thinking you could do this forever and have infinite amount sum but no that's not how it works there's a pattern here as you can see after a hundred percent one plus one is two but there's a special formula Euler came up to find what number it approaches so in our case it would be one plus a hundred percent divided by n and n n would be how many times you have it have a like your interest. So this year we only had it once, but in the second example we had it two times per year. So let's try it with this one. It would be 1 plus 100 percent divided by 1 to first power, which would just be 2. Okay, what if we want to go really high in our numbers? Let's say we do it a hundred times, or Let's say a hundred squared. That would be a hundred squared. Just putting there. That would be a really big number. Really big. I don't want to calculate that. But when we check on a computer, or let's say uh, it calculates for us, or let's just stick with a hundred for now. And the computer calculates for us exact number. It's gonna approach this number. I have a nice image here: two point seven one eight two eight one eight three. That is the approximation of E or Euler's number. Euler's number can be found in many places, especially in nature. But mathematicians like it because of its properties. Here I'll put the graph of e to the x. So the graph of e to the x. So we f the function is basically how the your rule for your graph, if you didn't know, is e to the x. So what's so good about this number? It has many properties, which makes it, like I said, a useful tool for mathematicians. Likewise, there's a special components of e to the x. For example, let's take the point 0. 
right? At zero, it would be e to the zeroth power, which would be equal to one. Okay, makes sense. What's so special? At this same point, the derivative or slope, or so, it would, so it would be like here, d over dx. That's just the derivative or rate of change, as you might call it, is also e to the x. So it would also be equal to one slope. So let's draw a tangent line, which can be used to find the slope. Might not be the best. But at that point on the tangent line, the rate of change is 1 also. So that means the slope is the same as the function. So it's the x is equal to the x for slope. There are some other cool properties. So another property would be one second. Here I'll just remove that. Would be that under the point any point on this graph, let it be there, 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 the point under the graph is always and the area under the curve till negative infinity is also equal to e to the x. So, so area is equal to e to the x. So all those components are equal to the function e to the x. So you, with all those uh, rules, as you could say, that makes e useful. Like I will, I explained in a previous video about logarithms. Go check it out. You could have a logarithm of base e of x, and that could also be said as a natural logarithm, and is used in many times in math. So in the end, I would say that e, the unknown transcendental number is as pop should be as popular and as useful as pi or my drawing of pi <laughs> so don't forget that e is a very important number and you should know how to use it and what it's used for okay guys <coughs> thanks for watching my video i really appreciate it if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment for what future ideas I should talk about or scientific things. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and I'll try to release more than once a week. Thanks. Easy Science out.